my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Gen Con 2014. I'm sitting down with Tim Fowers. How are you? Thanks for having me. <laughs> Our pleasure. Yeah. And you brought us a lovely, uh, which I just have to show the top of this because the yes. name of the game is Paperback and looking so much like a paperback on the top here. Um, you were just telling me uh, before we started rolling that you think you have solved the problem well, with word games. You, I, I, think, I, I think I've made a compelling offering for word gamers, <laughs> for, 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 for the geek crowd. And, and yeah. so, for, so potentially even getting people who are not word game it's, fans yes. to do. Yes. Give it a shot. All right, yes. Yes. all right. I mean, <laughs> high level, it's Scrabble Dominion. <laughs> okay, all right. that's a great way to describe yeah. it. Right, it's like, <laughs> All right. I mean, the basics is I have. A, I, it's like you have your own Scrabble bag. You're choosing the letters that go in your Scrabble bag, and so you have to kind of balance it. Mm. And so you can kind of play. People that are wordsmiths can do well at the game, and people that are like build my deck, use cool powers together, can win the game. They're both really valid, and so it's kind of like it's kind of a really good couples game. Now, if that wasn't like the best word game sales pitch I've ever heard, <laughs> then everyone else just needs to go home. <laughs> but but it's it's this crossover. Um, some people say it's it's even a little more accessible than, than Dominion for, for, new, for new players. And so it, it's kind of like this introduction to the space. And yes, um, it's, it's doing really well. I kickstarted it last year. It sold out of its first run already. Oh, congratulations. And I did pre-orders. I'm taking pre-orders now for the second run that's going to appear in October. And I'm selling them all direct. I'm not doing retail. So um, I had a living room full of boxes for a couple <laughs> months there. Um, but... but um, I think BGG is a great way to reach the board game audience, and I just wanted to, to work directly with them. And I like having a relationship with them too. Like they have problems, they can come right to me. Um, and then you know, my wife and kids love to you know help out. So. <laughs> but um, we're having fun making a little cottage industry out of it. Um, my previous game was a game called Walkstar, which goes back several years, um, and is finally coming out at, from Game Salute. Yep. And we ran this in parallel. I ran this campaign um, on Kickstarter at the same time the Walkstar one was going, and we did a, a bundle. So uh, that's my, my pedigree is my, my previous game was, was Walkstar Cooperative Real-Time Chinese Restaurant. So, um, all, right, all right. All right, yeah, let's dive into uh, Paperback. All right, so you start out with a starting deck of five words. First of all, the, the fiction is that you're, 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 you're Paige Turner, this aspiring author, <laughs> right? And you're trying to finish these P-A-I-G-E. Yes, Paige <laughs> Turner. Um, and, she's, and so she's imagining herself on all these novel covers, and we have all these... On a like, novel adventure? Yeah, yes. <laughs> a, a novel deck building game was like, the title. Oh, God. On, on <laughs> um, so this is, this is her. These are, these are the wild cards. Now, wild cards are flexible, but they don't score anything for you. So... Here, we'll put one yeah, right one dead center there. there. So this is... It's worth two cents, but this is just how this is starting here. Uh, but it can be played as any letter, has zero value, and it's one victory point. So it's very similar to an estate. In, okay. In the um, then you have these cards, which are uh, your basic letter card. They, they score one point, and they're an L, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so these are, you, you start with uh, five wilds and five letters, shuffle, draw five, you know, and build a word out of it, right? And the beginning is really easy. You have lots, lots of flexibility. Lots of, right, you know? lots of wilds. Now, there is this thing called the common card, and these are a set of vowels that um, everyone can use. You can use once per word. So this O, you want, I want to try to use it because it's an extra point. So, and it helps me get my, my word longer. So, so I make a word and I score it using this, the, the number under all the letters. And, and then I go shopping, right? So the price is in the lower left here. Ah. And I just shop for that much. So if I, or, you know, so I did, you know, uh, loan. And I, I can just point at this L-O-A-N. Uh -huh. um, that would be three. One, two, three, and then I can buy uh, anything from here or lower. So, um, let's see, this T, right? And then I put it in my discard pile. It's all very Dominion y. And um, these cards have powers, but they only activate if you use them in your word. So sometimes you have this tension of like, oh, I have this power and this power, but I have to figure out which one fits in the word. And I'm guessing that the more expensive letters are the rarer ones that would be harder to get yes. into words. Yes. And yes. So over here we have Z's and Q's, but they're worth five points by themselves. Like they score really well, and they have the cooler powers. So that's you know. But it's it's spread by price, and so there's always two available at each price point. Mm -hmm. And then if you're stuck, there's these two dollar ones that are just like a vowel. They, they score good, but they trash after their first use. So they're just there to help get your deck going. Um, but like this power says, if this is the last letter plus one card next hand. So you have to kind of play this game of like, oh, I need to get the letter in the, in the right position in the word to, to, to for it to score or do its ability. And 
one thing about all the powers is a lot of these, you'll notice, have uh, cards next hand. So there's not like the Dominion thing where I keep drawing my whole deck. Mm, it's more seating for the next turn. Yes, everything is like next hand I get. So, and, and there's no forced discarding. Um, it's like I have all of my variables. I have all of my letters in front of me on my turn. And this is really important for a word game because what's going to happen is I have my, my whole cycle. I draw my hand at the end of my, hand at the end of my turn, and I have that whole cycle of other people's turns to finish my word. And so that really helps the downtime um, with, with figuring out the best word and keeps it flowing. So, nice. Um, all right, so, and then we a couple of the funny, fun things. We have, like, these double letter. You have to use them together, and so that's kind of its own thing. And people often, I mean, they have, they have a really good price for score ratio, but, like, people buy too many, and then they can't fit them in a word together. <laughs> so, um, and then there's even a balance between letters and, 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 and wilds. Like, there's, there's five wilds, which get, get you pretty far, but eventually you start to get hands, uh, and, and, the, and the common vowel helps out. But eventually you get too many letters, and you just can't make a word anymore. Right. So you need to buy... The, these are the victory point cards. Okay. Like, and so these are very much like Dominion, you know, victory point cards. And there's there's two varieties of each one. Like we have a Land of the Lost and a, <laughs> and they're just for variety. This is our Twilight spoof. And, and here I'm act, I'm actually just gonna lay them yeah, out here because yeah. the the covers are really cute. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we, we did. Oh, let's see. Um, we uh, this is my favorite Dead Planet. I mean, and we have these kitschy lines on them. Life on this rock was supposed to be extinct. Now their lives would be extinct. <laughs> and like it's just, you know, we have the noir. This is our Twilight spoof. They would kill each other for to win her love, and she would let them. <laughs> you know, we just we had we had a hit with this, just doing '60s pulp covers. A um, dirty town with dirty criminals and even dirtier cops. Only one unlikely pair could clean it all up. <laughs> buddy cop, right? <laughs> so we just yeah. So um, these are victory points. So this is what they cost. This is the victory points they're worth, and the, but they're a while. A while. So it's this thing of like they're not quite dead, um, but they're lowering your ability to score high. You know, and some of them go really high. Like they go, they go all up to like 17 points. So it's a really some really high end. But these are tricky to, to get. You have to get like well, uh, there's like double word score. You know, Scrabble. So mm -hmm. you got double word score, and you can get cards like that that can really amplify your score. Now, one fun thing about this common vowel is it does change occasionally. The first person to get a seven letter word actually gets this. It's worth five points. And then this notches up to eight letters. Ah. Right? And so there's a reason to try to get long words and you can get the, you can get some like the supplemental points. Scrabble right? equivalent of a bingo. Yeah. yeah. And then and then uh, if you get all the way down, actually this is one of the game end. So it's very rare, but the wordsmiths they can knock out a ten letter word and end the game. What's the more common way for the game to um, end? The, the, it's two victory point piles. So there's there's five denominations mm -hmm. or four sorry, four denominations of these. And once two are empty, um, and then you can kind of scale the game uh, by how many are in these. Like if you want like a quick game, you can actually just put less, start with less victory points. Um, let's see. Um, and and how, that's, that's how many? How many players is it? It's two to, to two to five. With the Kickstarter, I got a fifth player expansion, but it's a little slower with five. With you know, for, to get back to your turn. So I recommend you know, it's it's a great two player, um, and, and up to four it scales really well. But but five, it's like. If you want to get that fifth that fifth wheel on it, it'll work, but just be ready for a longer game. <laughs> not not your optimal yeah, combo. Yeah, but, you know, um, and then there was one um, one expansion that came from uh, the Kickstarter as well was an, um, a, a, a attack cards, and attack cards um, constrain other people's words. So, uh, let's see, um, the, the, basically, it's like you can't make a a word longer than five letters, and it stays out for one turn, mm. uh, or you can't use the common vowel. Or you know, and it's, and and it, so it doesn't take cards from them. It doesn't take score from them. Well, there are some like each wild is minus one score, and so like people are like what you know, and and so I don't recommend it for first time players. Like you, you need to get you cut, used to it because again, it can slow down the game. It's like putting curses in a game. Yeah. Right? It, it can slow down the game, but some people love it. People are really divided <laughs> on the on the on the subject. And then there's there's a couple little expansions, some some player powers, uh, some awards. Like at the beginning of the game, you put one of these out. And, and muse or editor. Yeah, and and they're just like extra five points for something, the, the person with the most of something. So yeah, some some particular yeah. condition. Um, there's also these themes that um, what happens is if you can make a word that you think fits the theme, you can you can present it in a group vote. So it's like, <laughs> oh, that fits the crime genre, and then you get it, but it stays in front of you until somebody else can steal it by getting another word in that genre. Ah. So it's kind of this jockeying for like, or it helps you kind of craft your words in a certain way. And then, uh, and then just player powers, like once per turn, if word has no wilds, plus one cent. Okay, so the, 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 the typo power. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
Um, How long do you think a typical game would take you? Let's let's say with four players on the on the upper end of things. Um, I know it's a, it's still like an hour game. I mean, but but again, word games are a little variable. It's like the one the one downside is like a couple of people have played with certain people that are very AP, and like it, and it, so depends. Some people say that like. Um, Okay, when I made the game, there's this interesting thing that people started doing. They started playing cooperative. Like, they're like, I'm stuck, guys. And they'd put their hand out, and, and everyone would help them make a word. <laughs> and so I eventually crafted a fully cooperative mode. It's in the rules, and it, people love it. Like, it's this, you make the, the victory cards into a pyramid, and you have to buy them all before they fill up with certain levels of cubes. And they oh, included interesting. Cubes for mm-hmm. it. Yes, I saw that when um, we were unpacking. And so it's, uh, it's this really fun cooperative experience. But there's a semi-coop you can do in the game. I have several alternate uh, like variants you can play with. Nice. And one of them is, um, if you're stuck on a word, you offer a bounty. And then anyone can help you. And if you use a word that somebody suggested, they get a cube. And it's, that's an extra cent they can spend once on their turn. Um, and it's worked out really well. And so some people say, with kind of AP uh, players, you have a timer. And then after a certain amount of time, they have to offer a bounty. Because like, okay, you're stuck. <laughs> things along. Yeah, you're stuck. L- let us help you out. You know. Um, and usually what happens is, yeah, you gave them one point, but maybe they scored like three more points because they figured out how to use your. So word. it's still a net worth for them. Yeah, and and it's it, and it just ended up like this thing that just it's how people played the game, and I really want to embrace <laughs> that. Um, and then one little fun fun thing is there was some uh, expansions for the common cards. We have the dyslexic, which lets you reverse. Uh, while it's out as the common, you you can reverse these uh, two letter cards, you can use them backwards, ah. words, right? <laughs> and then space bar, you get to make two words out of your, and then the length counts as the whole thing with the space. Oh, nice. So that's, that's really everything in the game. So um, I included several expansions. Uh, all the all the Kickstarter stretch goals and everything are in every copy because there's no like retail version because there's just there's my just version. There's just you in your living room. Yes, yes. So. Well, and, that's, and we wanted to make sure we did mention, so if yes. they did want to yes. buy it. Yes, paperbackgame.com, $30, includes U.S. shipping. And then I think it's uh, seven more dollars for Europe, Canada, so like that. So um, yeah, and then we have like a four pack too. But um, it's yeah, it's it's available and yeah. Uh, all right, so that that's a challenge for all you strategy game players who are like, yeah. oh, word games. Yeah, like, <laughs> so we challenge you. <laughs> yes, yes, it's it's being really, it's like it's like creeping up the word game rankings. If you're like <laughs> like nobody really knows about it, but I'm fine. It's like it's kind of a sleeper hit, but I, I sold out. It's like hey, you know, fantastic. The, the, uh, the, uh, the, the community's responding, and yeah, um, and some great rules variants coming from the community too. Like the BGG crowd, they, they came up with a simultaneous play, and I put it in the second print rules. Like everyone plays it the first time at the same time, and the first person to finish their word gets first pick to buy. Mm. And so then it's like, you, if you take a long time, you won't get first pick. Um, so the BGG so a lot of a lot of ways, a lot, a lot packed into a little a little box. Yes, there's lots, isn't lots that of isn't that so appropriate for a game that's yes, so yes. speed looking like books? Yes. A lot packed in a little box. Well, Tim, right. thank you so much for stopping by, and I really hope it continues to be more than a sleeper hit at this point. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. You're welcome.